Hello, bonjour. I'm very uh, pleased to have this opportunity to speak and visit with you. I thank you, National Association of Federal Retirees. I believe that we're at a crucial time in history. We need a plan moving forward, and the Conservatives recognize that unless we address the economy, accountability, jobs, mental health, and our country's capacity to manufacture and innovate, our future will look very different. We want to tackle affordability head on, which is why we have a very detailed 163 pages to explain exactly how we're going to do that. We're calling our vision a plan to secure the future because we want to imagine a future that invests in Canadians. Personally, that's my heart and passion, investing in others to see their potential. Furthermore, personally, I want to be part of learning how to better unite as a country, how we can value each other without categorizing and shaming and then canceling others out, how we can speak into uniting our country and rebuilding and how we can better sharpen our antennas to listen to each other more attentively, even if we think differently. I'd like to address how our plan will directly impact seniors. We are grateful for your many contributions to our beautiful country. And we also want to make sure that the care and support will be there for you in your golden years. So how are we going to do that? We have a few ideas. We're going to be introducing an all new Canadian Seniors Care Benefit, which will pay $200 a month per household to any Canadian who's living with and taking care of a parent over the age of 70. We will amend the home accessibility tax credit by increasing the limit from 10,000 per dwelling to 10,000 per person. We will allow seniors or their caregivers, including their children, to claim the medical expense tax credit for home care instead of only allowing them to claim attendant care if they live in a group home. We will invest $3 billion over the next three years to renovate long-term care homes and improve the care that residents receive. We know that this is especially a concern as a result of the pandemic and what was discovered through COVID. We will boost the number of personal support workers in long-term care and home care by providing priority and promoting these careers through immigration programs. We will double the Canada Workers Benefit and paying it out only um, and paying it out quarterly rather than once a year. So this change will provide a dollar per hour raise for low income seniors or those who work part time to supplement their retirement income. We will invite the provinces to work with us. It will be a collaborative approach to develop a set of best practices for long-term care homes like the National Building Code. This will provide guidance for provinces without intruding on their jurisdiction. However, we will work with the provinces who want to commit to this important project and encourage all provinces to incorporate the results into provincial law. Canada's Conservatives will also provide stronger protection for seniors by amending the criminal code provisions on failing to provide the necessities of life to make clear that the operator of a licensed care facility shall be presumed to have a legal duty to the residents of that facility. Our plan comes from listening. According to the National Home Modification Survey commissioned by March of Dimes, Canada, 78% of Canadians surveyed want to age in their current homes. Only Canada's Conservatives have a plan to help seniors stay in their homes and improve the quality of the long-term care across the country. Our goal is for everyone in their golden years to feel our respect and appreciation for your investment in us. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact our office and I hope I can count on your support on September 20th. Thank you. Merci.